the first concept that we're going to go over is the concept of divergence. So divergence of a vector field takes in a vector field and it gives us a function. And that function tells us at each point, is this vector field kind of expanding or con compressing? Is it getting less concentrated or more concentrated as this material is flowing? So if we get a positive divergence, that indicates that the vector field is expanding. Whereas if we get a negative divergence, that indicates that it's compressing and concentrating instead. So if we get a, div a divergence of zero, that means that the flow in is equal to the flow out. So we calculate it, there's a particular formula and the formula is basically the same whether we're doing it in 2D or 3D. If we've got a vector field, we kind of add up the partial derivatives of it, except we take the x partial derivative of the x component, the y partial derivative of the y component, and the z partial derivative of the z component, and add all those up. So for example, here's a vector field. f of x, y, z is x plus y, y squared, and 2yz. We want to calculate the divergence of that. We take the x derivative of the first component, which is 1. We take the y derivative of the second component, which is 2y. And we take the z derivative of the third component, which is equal to 2y again, because the z derivative gets rid of the z component. And we add all of those up to get divergence. And so the divergence of this vector field is 1 plus 4y. That depends on x, y, and z. And so if we're at position 5, 0, 3, we're going to get divergence 1 that indicates that whatever fluid or gas or something is expanding. It's getting less and less concentrated as time goes on. It's handy to have shorthand to remember how to do divergence. And one way we can do that is using the gradient symbol. So when we talk about the gradient of a function, it's kind of like applying del del x and del del y and so on and so on to it. If we write this symbol del for a vector that has the partial derivatives as components, then a shorthand way to remember divergence of a vector field is grad dot that vector field. It's like taking the dot product where we multiply del del x times the first component, del del y times the second component, et cetera, et cetera. And then we add all those contributions up. And that measures the divergence of a vector field. 